What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Uh, we're gonna travel to Sinner's Rise. Uh, more specifically, the Salt Fort. And we're just gonna go over there and probably kill some people and it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and in the last video, we, we sort of uh, checked it out a little bit. We actually found this place. And um, we found these dudes. They're not very nice, obviously. They're kind of assholes. But let's just ignore them. You know, maybe maybe they'll just go away. I got no clue. I ain't got no clue. And I sort of put together this sweet new armor. Praise the sun. What sun? That's a moon. It's not even a real sun. Oh, he's, so he's seen me. Sorry, buddy. This is not your lucky day. Oh. Human effigy. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the texture on the wall. That's a disgusting texture, I just want to point out. I'm just really looking forward to the uh, PC version. Hoping that, you know, the textures are going to be a bit better. Because, you know, that'd be pretty cool. And God knows the game needs it. Because it, it would definitely be a bit better. Is someone trying to shoot me from up there? Who the hell is it? Well, they disappear. We got a lift here. Misfortune ahead. Try two ending. Tough enemy ahead, and then boss. So it seems that there is, in fact, a boss here. Well, let's let's take the elevator. You know, let's see where it leads. Could be pretty good. Could be pretty horrible. Uh, I have no idea. But I'm interested. So let's uh, let's check it out. 125. We got a CC. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, here we go. Oh, sweet, we got water. Uh, any, any fake walls here? Honestly, this would be a perfect spot to put some fake walls, but I'm not seeing any. Which is probably good. Okay, then. Yep, that's gotta be a boss right there. I see a fog wall all the way over there. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? What are you? What is that thing, man? It's so ugly. Quite slow, really. Why doesn't it do like a, a two-hit combo? I feel like, you know, that would really work well. Oh, it's got a teal. Get you, booty. Cut you down to size. And, and there you go. Well, I was just guarding that item. I see another one through this wall. It's just, it's just sitting there. Let's, um... Uh, What's this? Ooh, Sublime Bone Dust. Which is... Where, where is it? Where'd it go? What's this? Oh, that's that's the Sublime Bone Dust. Burn, it, burn in a bonfire to upgrade the, uh, the Astus Flask. Which means that, you know, they're gonna be a lot more effective, so we should probably burn it before we... Oh, here we go. Before we attempt to... Um... Oh man, it's angry. It's angry. Now, the thing is... Oh, I didn't know I did that. The thing is, we're fighting it in its own terrain, you know. It's its its, it's home turf. Uh, it doesn't really give a shit. You know, it's like, oh, sweet, I'm in water, you know, so is my enemy. Let's, uh, let's hang around here. Which, obviously, I'm not on board with that. Yeah, I don't think so. You're not gonna get me. Might be easiest to just lure them all. Uh, if there's more, at least, to this side of the... of the level... thing. And just sort of kill them over here. Because this is pretty doable, really. It's pretty doable. They give a lot of souls, though. That's pretty cool. So I was just sitting over here. Oh, come on! How many can you get, really? Okay, a large soul. Can be pretty good. Um... Oh boy. Well, let's just let's just do this. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh, that was that was a pretty good, good pretty good try. Pretty good try. Oh, it just fell over. So clumsy, man. Really clumsy. I wish I had more reach with this thing, but oh man, he's got pretty good reach with his little fall down and, and roll move. Whoa, it can jump. I just backstabbed it, I guess. 
<laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Um, but it appears that, you know, I can. Which I, that, I mean, that's cool. Can't really, you know, I'm not going to argue with that. So we killed three of these dudes. The last one wasn't actually protecting anything. It's just, whatever. Oh my god, is a mummy. See, if these guys explode, then I'm out of here. Like, I'm done. Oh, we got another one there. Oh, we got one here. Yeah, but no, if these guys are going to explode, then I'm fucking done. I mean, I'll die. I will. I hear one in here. I mean, at least one. I see a little skeleton. I mean, I know there's one in here, but... Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe it left. It's probably in here. I can hear it straight through the wall. Oh, huh? It's not here. What in the what in the bejeebas is that even? Okay. No, well, I guess that's cool. Uh, short bow, short bow. That's all I have. Let's use this little little thing for a li little minute. Shoot this guy in the face with a little fire arrow. It's pretty good. I shouldn't have done that. That was a complete waste. But you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. Uh, Nike. Ah, there's more. Okay, so they're in here then. Yes, they are. And they're coming. They're coming straight for me. Uh, which is not cool. I hate these guys. I hate exploding enemies in pretty much any game ever. Uh, including, but not limited to Pokemon. You know, they, they suck. Can I open this, by the way? I can't. Okay, well that kind of sucks because I was hoping that I would be able to do it. Uh, but I can't. I also hear more of these guys, so... should probably stay on guard. Make sure I don't get surprised by them, because that's where it ends... ...badly, doesn't it? I mean, I think so. Oh! Well, this place looks pretty uh, cleared out. Oh, I see one right over there. Guess I'll just shoot this one, save myself the agony. Kill it! Quickly now. Ooh, that was way too close. Okay, no, we got it though. I mean, that's pretty good. So it looks like we cleared... Oh, there's one more here. It's hiding in the water. Thank God for a little luck... ...walk on uh, function. I mean, that's, that's saving me right now. So thank you uh, for that. From... One in there. There is probably one in there as well, but... Okay, let's just try and get this guy. Yep, we did it. Okay. So let's see if this place is actually empty now. Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. No, that's good. So there's one in... It's... I don't hear anything anymore, so... I don't like the looks of this, though. Pharaoh's Luckstone, okay. Pretty big soul too, that's not bad at all. Uh, so we cleared this area. But we haven't been up here, which I, I figured, you know, let's let's check it out. Ah. There's nothing in here. I feel like that makes no sense because... Well, okay. Well, I mean, usually, you know, in these situations, you would expect something. Something good. Actually, there's, uh, let's see. There's one stat that I didn't check for the tower shield. It's got, oh, it's got 70 uh, stability. I think I want to try using this for a little bit. Let's go to the bow, because we don't need it. And, well, we haven't been in here. Oh, come on, it's locked. We need some type of key. And I don't know where to find it. Let's just, let's go. Pull that. Should get me through. And, uh, oh man. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can get up there now. Okay, I like that. How did this person die? Did he jump? 
Huh, so what, like, what was he fighting? It's locked. Is this like a PvP area, or... I mean, I haven't seen anyone. Visions of boss. Be wary of jumping or slip up. Okay, so don't fall down, is what they're saying. Is there an item here? Nope, it's completely useless. What does it say? Give it up, door. <laughs> okay. Wait, does that mean I can break it? Nope. Does not mean that I can break it at all. Oh, alrighty then. Um. So what? I see some doors up there. I'm thinking the fog wall is probably a boss. And from the looks of it, it's not a nice boss at all. Phantom. Help me. We've got these things. Oh, I knew it. They usually lead to some type of loot. Radiant life gem, that's not bad. Um, I've never really used them, but they're they're good. And then over here they have just a whole bunch of nothing. It's just, it's nothing. Uh, let's check these stairs, see if they lead anywhere. Hopefully a bonfire, that would be more than ideal. That'd be perfect. Oop. Locked, really? I mean... Come on, man. Why you gotta be an asshole about it? Honestly, I just want a bonfire because... Okay, so the first bonfire in this area has been very far away. It's locked. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm leaving little footsteps. That's pretty cool. Is that me, though? Yeah, it is. That's pretty weird. Okay, so uh, there's a boss through here. Help me. I'm going to leave a message myself. Uh, let's go with... Uh, let's see. Musings. Uh, don't you dare. I can't take this. This place again. Pull back. Give it up. Help me. Uh, don't give up. Let's go with help me. Let's put that right there. And hope that people help me out here. Uh, so I have two options. I can walk all the way back to uh, to give this another go with uh, without, you know, just get rid of my souls. Oh, which I'm not sure that I... Uh, let's see, we got that ring, we got that stone ring. I think I want to... Yeah, let's switch that out. I want to make sure my weapons don't give out. And I know that in, in the game there is a ring... Uh, that is very similar to... Actually, we might want to head back just to use the uh, the Sublime Bone Dust, but... No, we'd have to walk all the way back. Um, although it's probably the safest option. Also, I have enough souls to level up again. Really, so I think I should just do it. You know, just now we actually know where to go. We can uh, head all the way out here. And just, you know, maybe we can just kill those three big dudes. Or just, we can maybe just even run past them. And just give that a go. I'm guessing there's another NPC you can summon here. Um, so maybe we can go... Human again at the bonfire. And then see if we can actually summon an NPC. Uh, which I guess is... It's pretty possible there is one around here. Um, because so far I believe for a lot of boss fights there have been... NPCs to summon. And I've read somewhere that... You know, you cannot summon them, that's fine. But if you don't then their story isn't going to advance, you know, they're going to be stuck. Uh, so I'm going to try that. I want to see what it, like what happens if I go human. Um, I probably will not uh, summon a human player. You know, because that, that kind of blows it for me. That makes it less interesting. Oh, there he is. Okay. What's up, fella? Okay, switch to your sword. Switch to your sword. Yeah, we got it now. So that's the trick with these dudes. It's just... Walk right next to him. You know. And then you kill him like little bitches. And they will take out their sword. Gorgeous view ahead. I mean, it's just a, an ugly ass sort of prison area. I wouldn't say gorgeous view, but... Um, some people are just a little too optimistic, if you ask me. Let's go to Majula. And just use up the souls that I have. And then we're going to use human effigy. And we're going to try to run all the way through it. And just, you know, if, if I actually manage to beat that boss, it's probably going to be a long video. Uh, or I might just die really quickly and it's going to be a short video, which is, you know, fine, whatever. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, level me up, please. 
Wish I had found a shard instead of a uh, sublime bone dust. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but I would have preferred that, I think. A little bit of endurance. A little bit of endurance. Always pretty good option, I think. That leaves me with... Okay. I mean, that's a lot of souls, really, because you can buy 35 throwing knives with this crap. So... I mean, I can get 35. Let's get 35 of those things. I don't even care. Uh, how many lock stones do I have left? I got two now. That's good. That means that I can pretty much, you know, safely use one of them. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to try to rush through all the enemies. We're going to try rushing through all of them. And, and just run towards the boss. Or at least, you know, t uh, I'm going to try to get to the elevator. Uh, I got to kill these guys first, though. There you go, boys. Oh, come on. I'm having way too much difficulty with this already. Which is embarrassing. Use a life gem. He's gonna have to gonna have to use one. Uh, actually, let's use a human effigy. I got enough of those anyway. Boom! We're back. Uh, well, this armor, however, there's no way of telling. Which is sad, but rest assured... You know, the pink beard lives on, so no reason to worry. Let's wear this. Uh, how much? Oh, that's quite a difference, but I kind of want to use the tower shield because of the high stability. You know, I feel like it might be worth the weight. You know, so to speak. Like, yeah, it's really, it's really heavy, but... It's probably pretty good. Oh, there's a summon sign, although I'm guessing that is not the boss. I mean, I have no way of knowing for sure, but... That's what I'm guessing. What's up, dude? What's up, other dude? Oh, boy. What's up, last dude? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I'm just making a mess out of this, aren't I? What? Holy shit. What's that? Oh, it's Royal Swordsman leggings. It might be pretty good, really. I think we should give him a go. Common fruit. Uh, I don't think there's any poison around here, so that's probably not really worth it. Oh, here, here we go. Well, they're not bad. They're slightly lighter. They look pretty cool. You know, they look pretty cool on the armor, so let's use them. Uh, here we go. And, oh yeah, the summon sign. What does it say? Is it, it... It disappeared, so I'm guessing it's not an NPC at all. Uh, let's just go down. Let's go see. If there's no NPC, then this is just a giant waste of my uh, my effigy. But uh, we'll see. You know, it might be pretty good. I'm just worried if it's not right next to the door. But if it's before that, which I'm kind of worried about that, really. Let's see. Oh! I knew it. Ah, it's Lucatiel. I, I was guessing it would be her, because we just saw her in this area. See, we run through here. She's probably going to be distracted by these giant monsters. If there's, Yep, they're still there. Oh, shit. I forgot you can jump, you asshole. Um, I'm going to try to... Come here. Why do you keep doing that shit? Use your little punchy move. Just do that. I think you can get a good, like, two hits in. When he does this. Maybe even, yeah, well, you can get pretty much three in. Uh, oh, there's another one. Not applicable, okay. So that's just, you know, that's another player. Uh, I don't really care for him. Let's try taking this one next. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Oh, what? I was blocking. You better be joking right now. I kind of wonder if I can block his punch. Although, see, now I can block the t- Okay. You fucker. You giant fucker. Okay. Well, it's fine. You know, I'm used to this. Maybe it is my controller sort of fucking me over here. I don't know. But, there we go. That's good. And I believe there's one left. Or was it two? No, there's one left. Which was 
right here. Sort of sitting in the corner like a little bitch. And I kind of like that the hammer actually does more damage to him. That's pretty cool. Oh boy, that didn't do a lot of damage, did it? Look, just throw your punch and get out of here. Yeah, it, do it definitely does do more damage. Come on. He's got to stop doing it. He's got to jump now, though, I think. Just, just do it. Do whatever you're going to do. This guy is disgusting, though. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're very gross. You know, there's certainly a big level of dis dis disgustion here. Oh, disgustion. Discussion. That's not even a thing. It's just d disgust. Summon Lukatiel. Lukatiel. Try to learn it out, and then weakness stab it in the back. I don't really need that, though. Be wary of tough enemy. I'm just gonna write a message here. Uh, be be wary of, and then orientation is left. Leave it, and then people will know that there is in fact a giant monster there. So let's go look to you. We're just gonna run right on through, and let's just hope that she's not retarded and that she'll just go. Oh boy, I keep here. Oh my God, she just took a lot of damage already. Holy shit! This is not cool, man. I can hear him right behind me. Please. Oh, they just... Well, one of them just fell down. I mean, that's good. Look, Teal, why are you so dumb? I'm serious. You're incredibly dumb. Oh, it's like one-third of her health is already gone, and I already have a lot of souls now. I don't want to summon like a real player because that might cheapen the experience. You know what? Let's just let's just give it a go. Let's just see how it goes. If I lose the souls, then that's just what what happens. I mean, oh god, it's a, it's a, no, it's gonna be a big boss, isn't it? Uh oh. Ah, uh, there's a bug in your eye. Is it like a giant person or a small person? I think a small person I can handle. It looks very big, though. Did it just turn off all the lights? It looks sort of like a loon, and that's just it. Oh, but okay, it's pretty big, but it's sort of human-sized. So what, like, what does it do? Look at you, you useless skank. You are contributing nothing right now. I hope you're aware of this. I mean... Well, it's, maybe it's just because of my shield, but... Oh, shit, yeah, it does pretty good damage, too. Asshole. Oh, Lucatio is gonna bite the dust so fast. Let's just do some damage while I can. Lucatio's dead. Pretty much as dead as it gets, really. Yeah. I mean, I got a pretty effective shield here. So, I feel like maybe I have a shot at this. But this thing does a lot of damage, and he is big. Also, he, he looks insane. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that insane people suck, but I hate them uh, very much. So, drink it. Yeah. Fuck you. You've got those giant, like, swipes with that sword. I don't like it. You know, I don't like it not one bit. Honestly, it's, it's quite annoying. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Look at the look at the scared little boss. Okay, boss not scared at all. Boss doesn't give a shit. Fair enough. Now maybe. If I don't fuck up, I can do it. I mean. So far so good. Look to you was a giant disappointment, so I mean at least I don't feel like I'm cheating on this. Which is good, because nobody likes a cheater. Oh, maybe other che maybe other cheaters really like cheaters. I don't actually know how that works. When like when two people in a video game are hacking, are they like both cool with it? Do they have a special handshake? Uh, maybe a club? Like not a real club where they hang out, like a bar. But I mean like sort of an online club where they meet and they go, "Hey man, 
Uh, totally, you know, totally hacked that person today, and they're all like, oh, sweet, dude. You know, good job on that and whatnot. Like, that's good for you. Kind of feel like that, you know, that might go down. So that's the thing with communities that, you know, you have no clue what happens in there. You're kind of like, oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm going to fuck it up, I think. I feel like I'm going to fuck it up really soon. <clears throat> I don't... I hate this feeling, but I know I'm going to die soon. Because I'm doing too good, you know? Like, nothing ever goes this good, does it? It's a pretty big boss. You know, you got a cutscene and all that. He probably has, like, an ace up his sleeve. As bosses tend to do. Oh, come on! I hate you. So let me get around you a little bit. Sort of just... He's just jumping away now. We're almost there. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm not gonna get greedy at all. Oh boy. Oh man, we're almost there. As long as I don't fuck it up, I might actually be able to do this. I'm gonna wait for it to do that long combo. Where it slams the sword down onto the ground. And then I'll finish it, or try to finish it at least. What's it doing? It's just what it's like covering its face. Look, just do your combo. You no, know, just whatever. Fuck you. One more hit. One more hit and I've got it. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Stop covering your face. Boom! And that's it. Okay, well, like, great soul embrace. <laughs> What's... Soul Velocity. What does that mean, though? What's a great soul? No, are you kidding me? Soul of the Lost Sinner, Prisoner of Sinners Rise. The Lost Sinner etern eternally punishes herself. Are you telling me that's a woman? For the sins of her past. Well, it's got to be a woman, then. Well, she fought like a woman. I mean, I'm not sexist or anything. I just hate women. Uh, which, you know, I told you guys in the past. I have a lot of souls now, though, so that's pretty cool. Look at all these chains in it around here. This place is messed up. I did it. Praise the sun. By the way, bonfire ahead. This better not be a trap. Maybe this was like a fake boss before the real boss, and we're about to get fucked up here. I did it, and then I did it. You know, I feel like I'm gonna get jumped at any second. Just get mugged. Use the wall. Use the wall. I wanna use it. Please let me use this wall, man. I'm just not able to actually use this. Which is infuriating, really. But it's just- it's fuck- Fuck this. I'm- I don't care. Oh, it's not fake. Let's open her up. Let's see what's in there. Please be a shard. Uh, fragrant branch of yore. Elizabeth mushroom. What are those things, anyway? Sound like weird items that you just, like, use to boost a stat or something. Uh, Elizabeth mushroom. Oh, here we go. Large gradual restoration of HP. Specially treated dried mushroom. Creates a euphoric sensation when ingested. And restores a large amount of HP over time. Saint Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy by concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue was matched only by her sublime beauty. But who can say now? And then we got a branch of sorts. And all I see is this blossom. Oh, is that it? Restores living things from petrification. Alright, alright. A fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell. Restores the life of things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch's scent can lead to coughing and nausea. Interesting. Okay, so we can turn someone back to uh, to stone. Uh, I mean, other way around. What's this say? Fine work. Hurrah for bonfire. I did it. Wait a minute. What is... Light bonfire. It acts normal from the looks of it, but it looks different somehow. Isn't the sword normally, like, not broken? Ah, what? A primal bonfire lit. A primal bonfire was rekindled. And all it does is return me to the far fire. Well, let's... Let's see what happens now, then. I guess this was one of the... One of those four souls they were talking about? Weren't they talking about four souls earlier? 
feel like they were, but I'm not really sure anymore. I've been playing for so long that things are getting kind of blurry here. Hey, what's... Oh, actually, what I just realized is I forgot to burn this thing. Probably shouldn't have done it sooner. But here we go. Okay, Astus Flask is now stronger. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's talk to Milady. You have acquired the soul of an old one. Okay, so what does that mean? That is more than most undead can say. What's an old one? Uh, that's all she has to say. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. Where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Okay. <laughs> sure, lady. Sure, good for you. Uh, let's talk to my buddy blacksmith boy again. Do you sell anything new now? Uh, still, okay, I was hoping maybe it would sell infinite shards, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Uh, mace is good. Yeah, see you later, bro. Uh, let's see. Let's break this. Oh, what does this say? Praise the sun. We're in a tent. Whoa! But I can still see the sun. This is truly sun praising. Now, uh, maybe the cat sells something new? Where'd she go? Oh, here she is. Oh. <laughs> you do have a rather pleasant scent. A type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> okay, I smell nice. I mean, thanks, I, I guess. Uh, those are the same uh, rings she she was selling before. Nothing suit. So I don't really give a shit. See you later. Uh, let's talk to this guy again. See if he's selling something new now. What's up? I'm glad to see you safe. Yeah. Hey. What's uh, how are you doing? Uh, it's the same shields, so that doesn't really bode well. Whoa! Penal mask. Mask of the lost sinner increases equip load. The spikes pointing inward suggests that this was not only used to bind prisoners, but to torture them as well. Effect raises equipment load. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got the penal straight jacket. Straight jacket of the lost sinner. A tightly kinched belt presses against the waist. By now, no one knows who this was used to punish, or for what reason. Penal handcuffs. Raises the power of pyromancy. The hand restrains of the lost sinner. Uh, so that increases the power of pyromancy. A device used to restrict use of the hands. By now, no one knows... Okay, well, let's already know that. A tattered skirt that the guilty wear in shame. Now, this looks like a piece of shit. I don't really like the handcuffs, but the straitjacket seems pretty sweet. Because uh, it's not that heavy, really. And it... I mean, it's only slightly heavier than, say, the infantry armor, and it provides way better defenses. Uh, it is lighter than the, um, a bunch lighter, should I say, than the Falconer armor. Yet, it's probably better. Slightly better, at least. Um, it's better than this, pretty much. Oh, it's, uh, I guess it's maybe a little less good against physical damage, but it's good against fire and all that, so... I mean, that's pretty sweet. It's got that going for it. Uh, the mask is, let's see, 65. Oh, damn. Oh, that's good. And it increases equip load, so I think... 7,000 souls. I just want to buy it. I'll buy these two. And I'll that's hang on to my the rest of my souls. What does this say? What? I've never noticed this. Like, ever. Holy shit. I mean, my mind is all kinds of blown right now. Let's see what's in here. Please be good. One Titanite shirt. Well, who liked that shit? Liar. It's not a liar. It's a real thing. So that's awesome. Actually, I've never seen that before. That there was an actual, like, thing here. And, well, I actually wonder if this, like, this little spot here, maybe you'll see more equipment being added as you start selling more stuff. I have no clue. Um, but I think that'd be pretty cool. So, okay. Uh, let's check it out, though, before I go. I'm gonna walk back to the bonfire. And I'll check out the, uh, the stuff I just bought. And hope that it actually looks good. 
Uh, so let's see, we got the, the mask. And, oh, look at that. So we go from 66.3 to 65%. Okay, so it increases it with 1.9. Which is interesting because I don't, like, how much? Why 1.9? I mean, that's kind of a weird, weird thing. But it, I mean, it, it's it's better. It's better than the other thing because it, it is slightly heavier, but it gets lighter because of the fact it increases the equipment load. And we got this bad boy, which is definitely a bit better. And it actually provides um, petrifying curse resist and just loads of other resistances. Mostly fire is just a lot better. You know, it's pretty cool. And, oh! Well, oh, look at that. It doesn't look half bad, really. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with my light shield again, because that thing is very, very heavy. Um, but it was pretty useful, but I'm not really sure that it's worth it uh, to use that all the time. Uh, the Royal Swordsman laggings. I, I'm liking the laggings, I think, I think really. Um, I mean, they're pretty heavy, but they're quite good. You know, they're not, they're not as good as the... Um, the Drang Lake leggings or anything like that, but they're pretty good. Um, I think they might be slightly better or around the same as the night leggings. Uh, I like the night leggings too, but this lo just looks kind of cool. Varangian leggings, they, they do not look bad. They're horrible, but they don't look bad. I mean, that's for sure. Uh, we got the heart leather boots, but I'm just, I don't really like the look on those. The imported trousers look really plain. I think I'll just stick with the, um, the Royal Swordsman leggings. But those gloves just look kind of dumb now. So I think I'd prefer this, although it's they're pretty horrible. Uh, is there anything... I mean, those kind of look okay with this. Or those. Or... Uh, I kind of want something that doesn't have a glove. Like, well, that just looks horrible. That's disgusting. Uh, the brigand gauntlets. So those kind of go well with it. And just like that, you got a whole new outfit, and we're at 53%, which still leaves us with a pretty decent roll, so... I gotta say I like it. You know, if I get rid of the, uh, the sword I'm using... You know, that's gonna put me in a really nice, uh, spot with my equipment, so that's, you know, that's good. Uh, I will keep it, though. Uh, I will keep it. Because it's just, it's pretty good. And for some reason, it's got slightly better scaling than a Varangian sword, but I'm not really sure how that works. Um... I think I need another large Titanite shard to really be able to upgrade it again. Uh, reinforce. Also, didn't I get the, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, I have a, a height knight spear, but I can't use it. My dexterity is way too low, so that's unfortunate, really. Uh, we got the Varangian sword. Which, so the scaling does increase, except it doesn't really show you, uh, by how much. But it, it is increased. That's pretty cool. I had no clue it did that. Bastard sword. So why am I... Why not use a bastard sword? It's pretty awesome. Uh, let's, let's give it a go. Uh, let's see here. Let's say we got rid of that. And we, we, um, compare it to the, the bastard sword. Uh, the bastard sword is not as good, but this one's had five upgrades, mind you, so... Uh, obviously it's gonna be a bit better. Um... But it's also yeah, it's it's pretty heavy. Okay, well let's not let's not mess with that right now. Um, I'll just invest the rest of my souls in some levels. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, we get it. Shut your mouth. Let's go with one in both of these. Let's go with um, some strength. Let's just go with one vigor as well, just to make sure that we have some extra HP, uh, and that should settle it. Level sixty-six. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that's, you know, it was a pretty successful part, I'd say. I wasn't expecting I would beat that boss that quick. But, um, I was a little intimidated with all the blood stains, all the messages, but it turned out to be a bit of a pushover, so... I don't know, that's probably one of those bosses that people are gonna be, uh, complaining about a lot on the internet. Like, oh, it's, you know, it was supposed to be a great boss, and then it's just sort of a wimp. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's supposed to be a really tough boss. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll see. Uh, like a dream. What is- you're just on a rock. In what dream are you on top of a rock? But anyway, I know that you Dark Souls people really enjoy your long parts, so you should probably be pretty happy with this. Um, you know, we'll be back soon. And... Wait. 
Okay, so I beat that boss, and it didn't drop a key. I was hoping for a key there, which I didn't get, so... Huh. I don't really know where to go next. Whatever, we'll, you know, we'll we'll figure this one out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the part, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.